Button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right Yo 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 after reading the full description, come up here where it says current and select the green arrow to download. Let's jump into the requirements. The requirements is going to be open for. We will not be installing none of the requirements. I will leave links in the description to videos showing you how to install Liberty City and how to install open for. So make sure that you check out those. And once you have your requirements installed and you have your Liberty City vehicle pet pack downloaded. On my left hand side, I have one download, which is LC Pack. On my right hand side, I have my GTA 5 directory opened up and ready to go. I have all of my requirements installed. Before we go any further, we're going to need a mods folder inside of our GTA 5 directory. If you don't have one, go ahead and create a new folder and name it mods all in lowercase. After that has been created, go ahead and open it up. Then you want to make another folder that says update. Create another folder and name it update, then open it up. Then create another folder that says x64, then open it up. Then create another folder that says DLC packs and open it up. Once that has been created, go back over to the downloads where you had your LC pack. Go ahead and click that. And inside of that folder is going to be a readme and a spawn list of all of the vehicles that this mod comes with. All right. So if you want to know all of the vehicles, just go ahead and check out the spawn list. And it will have all of the, all of the vehicles, including the pets as well down here. All right. So. Let's go ahead and pick up this LC pack. This is going to be our DLC pack. We're going to drag and drop this one over here to our DLC packs inside of our GTA 5 directory. All right. Once that has been dragged and dropped, I already have it as you can see. Once that's dragged and dropped, we need to open up Open4 and add this to our DLC list.xml. So let's go ahead and open up our Open4. I have my Open4 opened up right here on the right hand side. Make sure that you have your edit mode turned on. It's this little button right here. Let's navigate to the side column of Open4 and select update. Then select update.rpf. Then the red banner is going to pop up. It's going to say copy to mods folder. Select copy to mods folder. Then we're going to select common and then data. Then scroll down till we see our DLC list.xml. Right click with the mouse, select edit. Then we're going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to do this over. So you're going to go down to the bottom and just copy the last item line that you have at the bottom and press the cursor right there and then just paste that same line right there. Let's go back to our DLC pack or LC pack and just copy the name and we're just going to put it over this name down here. All right. So now we have a new item DLC pack line for LC pack. Go ahead and select save. Now that that has been saved, close all archives. Now let's go ahead and run the game. All right, once you spawn into the game, uh, what we wanna do is open up any type of trainer that we can spawn vehicles with. All right, I'm gonna be using a uh, simple trainer. I'm gonna go to vehicle spawning and I'm gonna scroll all the way down near the bottom where it says added vehicles menu. That's gonna show me all of my add-on vehicles. That whole pack that we installed, we could access all of the vehicles in the added vehicle menu with Simple Trainer. So I'm going to go ahead and start from the top. As you can see, it has um, two pages. I will say about two pages of vehicles. Um, it pretty much stops on uh, the second page up here. It looks like the Vampit Taxi is going to be the last one. And if we go to the first, it's going to be that APC emergency right here. As you can see in the National Office of Security Enforcement Tactical Response Unit. Noose. <laughs> All right. So we have the noose vehicle right here. Um, look like some people are kind of scared of this right now. We are, Oh, yeah, because we have this gun also. But anyway, the next vehicle down is going to be the ambulance. All right. We have the ambulance right here. Got the sirens and everything working. And of course, you have uh, City of Liberty on the um, ambulance as well. 
It says MS Paramedic City of Liberty. Next one down, we have the ambulance retro. All right, this is going to be the retro ambulance right here. FDLC, all right, Fire Department of uh, Liberty City Medical Services. Then you have uh, this one right here. It's another FDLC for the fire department. And this looks like a tow vehicle right here. Let's get tow something right here. Then um, you have this one as well, the FDLC services unit for the fire department. Fill the burn. All right. Then we have the box retro, which is going to be the National Office of Security Enforcement, Liberty City Tactical Response Unit. That would be the box truck. All right. Let's uh, kind of drive out a little bit. We're definitely going to be backing up traffic right here, but it's okay. Next one down is going to be the um, No Longer Just Mail. All right. Let me go ahead and turn off the music. And there we go. All right, so we have the um, the no longer just mail post op mail truck right here. Uh, next one we have the bus. We have a Liberty City bus, Liberty City Transport Authority. All right, B eighty four, Liberty City. Um, we have this one as well. This is going to be the brute refuser. All right, I guess um, it's going to be the garbage truck right here. And we have a brute school bus that says Liberty City Public School System on the side of the school bus. I told you we're going to be uh, definitely um, making some traffic right here, causing a backup right here. All right. This one is another garbage truck. It says sanitize, uh, sanit <laughs> sanitation, keep Liberty City clean, don't litter. All right. Got another garbage truck right there. Next one down is going to be a LC taxi cab. That's right. We got official Liberty City taxi cab right here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Almost, yeah, it looks like um, like a Caprice Classic almost. All right, so we got that one, and we have this one too. We have another taxi um, car right here, LC Taxi right there, as you can see. All right, and this one is the the Classy Taxi Premier Classic. Can see this one right here it's a little bit different than the other ones it's more like a crown victoria old school caprice uh impala type of look then you have the enforcer emergency right here this is for the lcp diddy last one we seen was for uh noose for the swat this one is for the cops next one down is the fire truck right here Right, and you have the fire hose that also works right there all right then we have another fire truck we got this fire truck right here all the fireworks here too I mean all the water works here too yep just push those people Wow, this fire is pretty pretty heavy man look at that Wow just killed those innocent people anyway uh, next one is going to be the forklift this emergency forklift um, yeah, I don't know why emergency would need a forklift, but hey. Um, so it has the fire department, Liberty City, on the side of it, and they have their own forklift. Uh, the next is the Ranger Retro, the Granger Retro, FDLC, fire department vehicle right here. And you have your hazmat, your FDLC hazmat has hazardous materials. I'm going to say hazmat because I'm looking at the name of the vehicle. It's called hazmat truck. And let's go to the next truck. We'll just park sideways since everything is going to spawn. I'm going uh, to our right. Let's go to the next one. Next one is going to be the heavy rescue. Okay, heavy rescue truck, FDLC, fire department. Then we have our helicopter right here, which is um, the Helitors Maverick helicopter right here. Next down is the ladder truck. All right, this is the ladder truck. Let me um, move away from the helicopter a little bit. Now this also works. Um, I haven't tried it. Let's see if we can try it right now. But you could also lift up this um, this ladder. All right, there we go. All right, so you can lift up the ladder and you can shoot water wherever that you need to. So in order to lift up this um, 
to lift up this ladder thing right here you want to press uh, right on the d-pad and hold right on the d-pad until you see those um, those things on the side that's kind of prepping the truck up they'll go down and the ladder will go up just press right on the controller not sure what you press on the keyboard you might have to look that up but this truck is fully functional right here all right now if we wanted to put that up we'll press the same right on the d-pad and that will put all of those um, things up and that long letter down yeah all right so next one let's go to the next one is the maverick helicopter all right we got another helicopter right there then we have a um, fdlc vehicle right here this um looks like it probably could be like the chief the fire chief's car or something like that um let's see what else we have going down is mr tasty van Okay, Mr. Tasty Van, that's going to be the old school ice cream truck, I believe from uh, GTA 4. All right, so you're going to have this right here. Then you have the Pigeon Patrol LCPD vehicle, okay, for the Liberty City Police Department. All right, then you have this one right here, it was the Police Alamo LCPD emergency truck right here. And going down, you will have the Police Bike, LCPD Police Bike. Then we have a uh, boat over here. It's like a boat trailer. So you can hook that on to um, a car that, you know, could pull that. And you have a LCPD jet ski that is on that boat trailer. Oh, wow. Somebody just ran over the trailer, huh? Okay. All right. So next one up is going to be a police boxville retro LCPD. Then we have a police buffalo right here. LCPD police cruiser LCPD another police cruiser it's a little different than the first one they all have the sirens and everything as well and uh, police cruiser retro it's the retro they are different even though the last three kind of look identical but they are different um, let's go down to the police Esperanto yeah, this is very old school right here. Police Esperanto, huh? All right, and the next one down is going to be the Faggio. Let's get a little bit of ways from those cars. Let them uh, despawn. Let's turn around. Okay, a few of them are gone. Let's start up here. Next one down is going to be the Faggio Sport. Okay, this is the police Faggio. So the police have a little scooter they could drive. Then you have the Police Interceptor, Police Maverick, that's their helicopter right there, the Police Merit Classic, gonna be this one right here, like the Box Caprice. Then going down to the second page, we are on the second page now, the Police Panto City Sport, LCPD, then you have the Police Patriot right here, then the Police Patrol, Kind of looks um, similar to those other patrol cars that we had spawned earlier. Oh, sorry about that, lady. All right, let's go over here. Spawn in the police predator. Oh, the police predator has spawned this, like, up here. <laughs> spawned this uh, below the, um, the map because it is a boat, okay? So, uh, yeah, we're in the water now. Let me see if I can get out of the... Oh, oh, yep, it didn't work. Uh, hold on, y'all. Go back over to here. Bloop. All right, so we are back at it right there. Um, so the premier, the Predator was a boat, and this is the Premier Classic right here. Let's go to the Police Rancher. It'd be nice if it let us know it was a boat. That way we could spawn that in the water. I'm just saying, but hey. It's all good. This is the Police Rancher LCPD. The next one down is going to be the Police Riata Retro. That's this one. Going down, Police Sand King Utility. Going down, Police Scout. And going down, we have the Police Sea Shark. I believe that that is going to be another boat. I uh, don't really want to spawn all these boats Shit. in. Let's see if, uh, if it will put us in the water. Yeah, it's going to put us in the water again. 
All right, so we are back on a land. Um, let's do the service truck, police service truck. It's LCPD truck, and then you also have the police Sparrow 600, and then you have the Speedo, the Speedo Riot, police Speedo Riot, LCPD. Then you have the police stockade right here. It's the police stockade, LCPD, police tactical truck right here. Alright, let's kind of get in the the light or the sun, whatever. And police tactical unit right here, LCPD, police Yosemite off-road. Right, and then rescue truck. These are a lot of emergency vehicles. I'm not sure if anybody's going to be driving all of these vehicles, but you have a lot of options. You have a lot of options. Uh, next one down, the Sand King ambulance fdlc um then we got the sand king xl fdlc then growing going down you have the shyster cabbie service okay we got the shyster cabbie <laughs> all right okay so you got this uh taxi cab van right here uh speedo ambulance for the fdlc fire department fire family transport you got your Stan Stanner, uh, Stan Stainer, whatever FDLC emergency. All right, and the Speed Steed 1500 utility that's going to be for the FDLC. Subway trains, just in case you wanted some subway trains. Can't drive them on the street. Um, gonna have to put those like in the subways or something like that. But next one down is unmarked cruiser. Okay, we have an unmarked cruiser. All right, and next one down is unmarked merit and vapid taxi and uh, another vapid taxi. Okay, they are different. And then you have your last vapid taxi right here, retro. All right, so we went through the whole list of all the emergency vehicles that it comes with, and as you can see, I had spawned each and every one of them, and they all work. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the tutorial right here. But if this helped y'all out to install it, or if you just enjoyed the video, feel free to smash that like button for me. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the video with your friends that are in a modding GTA 5. Y'all's games, graphics, me and a uh, big ball in ass break. We are out of here till next time. Yo. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.